Hey, good day, friends. It's Lance Klessig, and we're out in a beautiful field of corn that was interseeded. Um, there's 60 inch rows here behind me, and here's your 30 inch rows. But just wanted to show you some of the close up specs um, and pictures. So I don't know if you can see this, but I just pulled this brassica out and check out the earthworms right around this root mass, right? And um, this is some beautiful looking corn. Um, and I just wanted to kind of showcase what's possible, you know, whether you have cows or not. Uh, 60 inch corn here, um, you know, here's some 30 inch. There's still good biomass in there. Um, Any ryegrass base, uh, turnips and radishes. Um, so I'm gonna put this down, but again, this is just fantastic, those friends. Um, but then also where we had plenty of sunlight, we actually have this plant, which we don't really see a whole lot of. It's kind of wilty, but yeah, it's a, it's a faba bean is what they call it. So um, yeah, just wanted to, again, showcase, showcase some, uh, you know, ac biologic activity, what 60 inch corn can do. Um, you can see the, the night crawler here that's working his way off the roots. Um, but yeah, actually you can take a walk. We're, we're just outside of, uh, we're in Trempolo County here, and uh, this is Brian Malaszewski's farm. Um, and yeah, just his first year trying, um, you know, some interseeding. And we actually just did a video, the link to that will be in the comments, but yeah, look at the, I think there's three or four different kinds of clovers. Um, you know, he's gonna actually chop some of this off and then also harvest the rest via combine and so you can check out the yields um you know this is a heck of a radish look at this guy you know that's golf ball size approaching baseball size so and you know i'm it's up to my waist so um but yeah tremendous amount of biomass in here uh, we just did a rainfall simulator um but you can see the, the annual rye grasses that are in here um, pretty good earthworm activity down here. Um, so yeah, again, in here, actually we'll walk out to the end here. Um, yeah, there are some weeds. There's some, you know, there's some forbs, as I would call them, some velvet leaf there, some fox tail. Um, but yeah, just a beautiful day. You know, we are farming here in the driftless area. So that was 30s. Now we're in the 60s, 60s. Um, you know, check out that. That's pretty awesome. And look at the ears here, right? Uh, Brian did some uh, yield checks on it, kernel counts and whatnot. Um, and 204 bushel, and I think he said 206 on the 30 inch corn. So time will tell, but you know, look at the hill behind me here. See that? See those hills? The driftless area has some awesome soils, whether you're in Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, you know, like I said, today we're down in um, Southern Trempolo County, uh, but we got to take care of the resource. We have to take care of, of this resource and we want to keep it covered and we want to have diversity, not just corn, beans, but even if it's just rye, you know, just rye after the beans and corn. Uh, those those live roots, they can really, really help us out. Um, here's a nice little picture. Look at this. You guys and gals see that? Some nice vetch, brassicas, um, annual rye. Yeah. And the ironic part here is that, um, so we just had this field day. The ironic part is, is that um, Brian is actually not going to even bring cattle here. <laughs> Um, cause his cattle are all uh, a little bit farther east. So this is, is really an experiment to see what kind of biology we can make a home for, what kind of earthworm counts we can get. And again, if we can maintain yield, um, and still have really impressive yields, um, that is, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to hop through the corn here. Um, and yeah, I mean, yeah, there's definitely some weed pressure, right? Uh, but if you're a cow calf guy or or whatnot, cow, cow calf girl, <laughs> cowboy cow girl, um, there's some forage here, right? And you know when this corn gets taken off for silage, some of it will be. We're going to have some ex explosive growth, right? Um, so just some really neat 
neat things going on here on his farm. Um, kind of over by Whitehall, Wisconsin. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of provide a quick update on some 60 inch corn and 30 inch corn. You know, a lot of my videos are from uh, Wisconsin, uh, excuse me, Minnesota, but I, I definitely loud and proud Wisconsinite, um, born and raised. And now that we bought our own farm, um, just across the river in La Crosse, we um, spend a little more time in Minnesota. So, but yeah, I mean, here's your 30 inch. Um, and there is some, there is some, you know, there's some biomass down there. Um, but it would make sense. There's less light getting down in these 30 inch rows. Uh, and then when we back up, here's my shovel, the trusty shovel, there's corn. And you can see just the amount of light coming through the canopy, right? Um, and then we can grow things like, actually the fava bean, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be right up. This was taken up on a strip that there was no corn planted. We couldn't find any fava in here. Um, but then you have, you know, check out this, right? And I already showed you that the earthworms, actually there's one still here. Um, but look at that rooting structure, right? The diversity of roots. So the power of soil health at work. So I want to say thanks for watching. If you like our videos, give us a, a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next video.